Hey guys, Yvonne here, and in this video, I want to show you how to make $443 per day on ClickBank while you sleep. And the reason I say while you sleep is because all the income you see here, if I even refresh the page, was made while I slept. So it's completely passive income, completely hands off. I create the ads, I set up the campaigns, and then everything is done on autopilot, all right? And I wanna show you how to do it too. So I took the average earnings over my last 15 days and it came out to be $443 and change, 90, 97 cents. And so I'm gonna show you exactly how you guys can do this as well here, step by step, as you watch behind my shoulder, okay? Now, before we get into it, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell icon, so you get notified when I release more videos just like this to help you make money online, all right? So, that said, let's get into it. So, the first thing we have to do if we wanna make money online with ClickBank is select the product, right? So, in this test account, we're gonna go ahead and click on Marketplace at the top, and what I like to do is click on the little magnifying glass, and this allows me to see all the top and the most popular products, right? So Java Burn, uh, Exipure, that's kind of new. I haven't seen this before. That looks kind of cool. You can scroll down, Biofit, Okinawa, Flatbelly, okay? So these are all popular products. I like to take products that uh, pay out over $100 commission and that are in the health niche, okay? So there's a ton of them here, like the smoothie diet, that's probably not something I would take. New gut and poop winner, that could be an option, I haven't tried it, right? So for the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and go with Exipure. I've never done this before, so that seems kinda cool. And we're just gonna use this as an example. So now that we've selected our product, right? If you click on promote here, this is gonna be our affiliate link. But we cannot just, in, in most places, you can't just take this link and promote it. Uh, your ad could be disapproved in the majority of cases. So what we need is to create a landing page. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you a free funnel builder slash landing page tool that you can use to promote products like this. And in our case, that's gonna be System.io, okay? So, if you guys head over to go.evonmana.com slash System.io, which is my affiliate link, but it's still free for you anyway, you guys will be able to get started for free, sign up, and that way you can follow along with me as I show you how to create a landing page that we'll be using to promote our product, right? So here we are inside the System.io dashboard. So what we have to do is build out a landing page, right? So that's step two. We have to create a, a page that's gonna tell people a little bit about the product and get them to click. Because again, we cannot usually direct link people, right? In most cases, you're not allowed to do that. So what we're gonna do here is click on funnels and we're just gonna build a new landing page here. So we'll click on create in the top right. We're gonna type, uh, you can use anything really, you can even say custom because we'll be rearranging it and customizing it anyway. But what we can do is we can just say collect emails here for this purpose. And then over here we can say, what was this product? It was Exipure. So we can type in Exipure right there. Uh, we can leave it at US dollars and we'll say create. And now we can choose a template, so really easy to do. So we can preview it, let's see what it looks like. That looks okay. Maybe let's see if we can find something else that suits us better. You can collect an email, you don't have to. So for, for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna collect an email just to simplify things, but you could collect emails as you do this as well. So let's preview this. Don't worry about the images, we can change the images as well later on. So that looks okay. For a health product, generally we want a longer landing page. So we wanna add more information there. And I'll, and I'll show you how to do all this too. So, Let's scroll down, that's okay. Yeah, so these are meant kind of just for collecting emails, which is fine. So let's just go with maybe this one for now. So I'll click select, and then we're just gonna change things around a little bit, okay? So this is gonna be our squeeze page. We can change this around. You can get your own custom domain. I do have a video where I show you how to build out a system IO landing page and funnel completely from scratch, all right? So if you wanna take a look at that video, I'll link it in the description. Uh, but we're just gonna go with like the, the basics here in this one, okay? So this one we can say welcome. This is gonna be our domain. And we can say, welcome, exit pure in case that one is taken. So that looks good. This is gonna be our squeeze page or landing page. You can preview it here. If you click view, you'll see what it looks like. Now, obviously that's not what we want it to look like. So we're just gonna save here. So it saves that. And then we're gonna edit it by clicking this little magic wand over there. And then this is where we can start adding all this different information we need, right? So about this product. So let's come back here. Let's see what it is. Exit pure, the tropical secret for healthy weight loss, right? So uh, maybe let's remove this. If you guys are familiar with ClickFunnels, this is pretty much exactly like ClickFunnels, it's just free. 
Okay, uh, you can replace this image, you can keep it here, you can move it somewhere else if you want to, totally up to you. Like if you wanna maybe move it you know, underneath something, you can do that. We'll just leave it here for now and we'll probably just replace it. Uh, so yeah, let's start with the image. So we're gonna go here, we're going to upload an image. So you can use any free image tool. I'll probably use Pexels or Pixabay. So I'm gonna go in, find an image that could work here in this case, and then I'll be right back and I'll upload it here to this page. All right, so I went in and actually found an image of this product for simplicity's sake, and I just added it here. But you can add whatever you want to. Just, you do wanna be careful, depending on the ad platform you're using, you have to be careful with the images too. Like you don't wanna to show too many before and after images, for example, if you're using Google Ads or Facebook Ads, things like that. They have policies on fat shaming, and so you wanna be careful with the images you use. So for simplicity, I'll just use an image of the product here. And then if you click on the little gear icon, you can also reduce the image size, increase it. You can reduce you know, the, the margins. You can increase the margins here. You could make it go to the right or make it go a little bit more to the left if you want. So you can play around with it as you want to. I think that looked fine like that. And so we'll just leave it here for the purpose of this video. Now, what I do like to do is I don't like the headline here. I think it's hard to see. So what I'll do is I wanna add a headline app up top, right? So what I'm gonna do is come over here. I'll drag this row and I'll add it up top. And then over here, I can add text. And I should have probably selected headline text. So let me do that now. And then I'm gonna delete this one. Notice that I'm deleting the orange element, right? Which means that I'm just deleting the element, not the whole row, right? So over here, we can add a headline. So the tropical secret for healthy weight loss. So we can say something like, you can, you can think about this obviously, again, this is just an example. You can say, learn the tropical secret to healthy weight loss. Uh, yeah, so we could just leave it like that. Not super creative, but you know, it doesn't matter for the purpose of this video. Hopefully you're, you understand what I'm trying to show you, like add a headline, add an image, you know, things like that. So for the text color, maybe we wanna highlight specific things, right? So maybe we wanna highlight tropical secret. So we can go in here and we can select text color. And then let's say we wanna make that yellow, not too yellow. Maybe that yellow, you know, that's kind of hard to read. So, oops gonna go back control Z yeah so maybe nothing maybe we'll just leave it like that but what we could do is we could maybe bold it so right there and then let's say we want to make this bigger so font size we're gonna change it learn the tropical secret to healthy weight loss okay so that looks good I do like it uh, one thing we could do though is also add like a little sub headline and actually the sub headline maybe we can do here so maybe we can delete this stuff that does not look good that little TM there I don't know what that is and then here we could say you know contains proprietary blend of eight exotic nutrients and plants. So I really like that. So we can say contains a blend of eight exotic nutrients and plants to help you safely lose weight. Okay, so something like that. And then you could add something here if you want to, we're gonna delete it, but you get the idea, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm adding a headline, an image and a sub headline and a call to action button. And so that's what you would be doing here with the landing page. You'd be working on this, all this text and all the images. You can also add a background if you want to. So over here, maybe we wanna make that italic and maybe we don't wanna make it bold, okay? So something like this, and that looks pretty good to me. Now, one other thing, maybe we wanna stretch this out to the sides a little bit. So if I select the gear icon on that thing there, if we scroll down here, left, right, we can expand it. So see, if you select it, and if you uh, increase that, then it's gonna kinda of shift more towards the middle. So we want it to expand it more to the sides. So these are just like the details of this specific page builder. Uh, but hopefully you get the idea of what I'm trying to show you here, okay? So that's the idea. And then what you're gonna do, what you guys are gonna do is go down and fix the rest of the stuff, right? So instead of our services, you're gonna, for example, say, what's included? You know, maybe you would write some things here, like what are the four main cool things about Exipure? I would have to read it. Like I said, it's a new product for me, but that's something you would do. Over here, you would have another call to action button, things like that. And so over here, book a free consultation, we wanna change that. Uh, we don't want it to say free book a free consultation. We want to say learn um, learn how to get started now. And so this is how we're going to be taking people to this page, right? Once they click, they're going to come here and then they can learn more. And then if they buy, you guys are going to make a commission. That's how this works. So learn how to get started now. I do want to increase the text a little bit, maybe like that. And that's generally the rough idea of what we're striving for. Now, maybe we want to make the button... Actually, yeah, it is kind of pink, right? Because we do wanna make it a bit similar at least to what this looks like, so that looks good. What we could do though is this color is like dark green. So I activated my ColorZilla Chrome extension, and what I'm gonna do is find this color, 
and it's this dark green color, right? And then maybe I wanna actually make these letters here dark green. So we're gonna select it, come to text color, and then I'm gonna paste that there and say, that's it, that's pretty much it. And there you go. Now this is the same color as this background, right? Just so we can add a little bit of consistency. I don't wanna make the button green as well because that's not, that's usually not a common button color, but everything else looks good. So that's basically the idea. Now, one thing we do wanna do is of course, take our affiliate link, generate hop link. I'm gonna copy that, close out of that, come back here. And then we wanna add it in here. So we're gonna open URL, we're gonna delete that and we're gonna paste it here. And you can open this in the same window. And that is pretty much it. Now, again, like I said, this isn't the most beautiful landing page in the world, but I'm giving you an idea. And if you want more detail on how to create a good looking landing page, I do have that video linked in the description. But I'm just showing you the steps here, right? What you have to do. So step two is create a landing page and add your affiliate link right here, right? So now what we're gonna be doing is promoting this page, assuming you're gonna add a little bit more information, and then when somebody wants to learn the tropical secret to a healthy weight loss, they're gonna click this button and they're gonna go to this website, right? Because that's what's gonna happen. So if we save changes, let's preview this to see what it looks like. So we're gonna be promoting this page, right? This is preview mode. When somebody clicks here, they'll be taken to this page. And then if they buy, you guys are gonna make a commission. So step three now is we're gonna promote this. Now, there are many different ways you can promote your products. You can use Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, Instagram ads, Google ads, Microsoft ads. My favorite approach is Microsoft ads and Google ads. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to promote this using Microsoft ads. So what you guys are gonna do is head over to ads.microsoft.com. And if you don't have an account, just click sign up now. You can even give them a call and they're generally really good at this stuff. But what I'm gonna do is I already have an account, so I'm just gonna sign in and I'm gonna see you inside the Microsoft Ads interface. All right, so here we are inside Microsoft Ads. So once you are in your main dashboard right here, make sure you click on campaigns on the left-hand side, and then we're gonna click on create campaign. Now, if you guys are overwhelmed and you're not sure what you're doing, just watch what I do, watch behind my shoulder. I'm gonna make this as simple as I can for you. And if you do wanna learn everything about Microsoft Ads, like including what all these options at the top are, what all these options are, how to create profitable campaigns from start to finish in very thorough detail, definitely take a look at my training courses at evonmanacom slash old courses, where I do go over this stuff in thorough detail. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna go with whatever is needed to actually get this campaign up and running, okay? So what we're gonna do is click on create campaign over here, and we are gonna go with visits to my website, and we're gonna click on search. Again, if you want more detail on what every single one of these options mean, take a look at my training course where I cover that in very thorough detail. But we're gonna go in and we'll click next. And here, we're just gonna go from top to bottom, right? So the first thing we have to do is enter a campaign name, which was XC Pure, we'll say YT. Uh, you can enter whatever you want for the budget. I think the minimum for Microsoft Ads is like $5, but the more you spend, the faster you're gonna get results and the faster you'll know whether something is working or not, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it at $20 here for now. For location, you can leave it at the default, which is Canada and US in my case, or you can choose your country. So normally I go with tier one country. So Canada, United States, Australia, New Zealand, UK. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna go with everything, but I'll go with, for example, Canada. I'll go with United States. I'm gonna click enter, target. And then maybe let's say Australia, okay. So we're just gonna go here with these for now. We're gonna scroll down. We're gonna deselect this option here. So only select that one. We're gonna leave this at English, which is basically says that you're gonna show your ads to people who speak this specific language, in this case, English. And we're gonna click save and go to next step. And now this is where we're gonna enter our URL. So we can preview this. And that is a preview link, so we don't want that. So let's actually go back. So we're gonna click here on the top right to exit. And then this is our URL. So we're gonna click copy it and then we can paste it here. So this is where we're gonna add our keywords. Keywords are words or phrases that trigger when somebody types in a search term so that your ads show up. So basically keywords are what makes your ads show up. So in our case, if we're talking about weight loss or weight loss supplement, we wanna make sure that, that we add these keywords so that when users type something like that in, like weight loss supplement, for example, our ads are gonna show up, okay? So what you can do here is you can either enter your website and Microsoft is gonna give you ideas or what you can do is you can delete the website and you can type in, for example, weight loss supplement and click enter 
and Microsoft's gonna give you ideas right off the bat. And so give it a moment to load and over here, right? So best weight loss products, for example, that could be a good, a good keyword. So we can click here to see more and you can just go in and select all the keywords that you think match the product you're promoting, in this case, weight loss supplement. So maybe weight loss product, maybe not weight loss diet, uh, supplements for weight loss, you know, workout, eh, workout supplements, I don't know about that. You can scroll down, weight loss supplements, that's okay, misspelling, supplement, best weight loss supplement, right? So you're just gonna go down the list and add as many as you can. Now what you do wanna do ideally is add relevant keywords. So if you're talking about supplements, for example, keep this to one ad group. Then if you wanna talk about something else like uh, weight loss diet, you wanna keep that in a separate ad group. And that is so that you can create different ads uh, that speak the language of the specific keywords, right? Because when somebody types in, for example, supplements for weight loss, you wanna show those people one ad that says in your ad supplements for weight loss. People that are typing in, for example, weight loss diet, you don't wanna show them an ad that says supplements for weight loss, right? You wanna show them an ad that says weight loss diet. Get the idea, right? So for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna use this one ad group here. But generally what you wanna do is ultimately create many ad groups with different themes of keywords, okay? So ad group name here, we're gonna say weight loss supplement. And I totally butchered that. So let's say supplement and that looks good. Okay, so again, for the purpose of this video, that is enough for us now. We're gonna scroll down, stay through to the end of the video. I'm gonna show you how to make your keywords even more relevant than what we're doing here, okay? So we're gonna click save and go to next step. And now this is where we're gonna create our ad. So I'm gonna click on create ad here. I'm gonna select this drop down here after it loads. Give it a second, there you go. And I'm gonna select expanded text ad. And once again, we're gonna enter our URL. And then for title part one, what I like to do is add what the keywords are about. Like what's the theme of our keywords? And that is weight loss supplement, right? That's the theme. But you can do variations of these. You could maybe add a date if you want. So you could say weight loss supplement 2021. I would suggest staying away from things like best or top or ultimate, you know, cause these are very subjective words. So everybody can say that their product is best. So it doesn't get as much attention. So I would spend some time here, right? That's what good copywriters are for. I would spend some time here coming up with a unique angle, maybe go on bing.com and see what, what other users are typing in, or I mean other advertisers, see what they're typing in, get some ideas and come up with your own angle so that you can come up with something unique. But try to avoid things like best weight loss supplement. That's just too subjective. Everybody says that their supplement is the best, you know? But that's my theme for title part one is like the theme of the keyword. Title part two, I like to include a call to action. So click here, buy now, get started now, order now, things like that, right? So in our case, on our website, we're telling people learn how to get started, right? Learn the tropical secret. If you were to maybe offer them a chance to buy right away, you could say buy now. So that's up to you. In this case, I'm gonna say, learn how it can work for you. So I'll use that here in this case. Or you can say learn more, or you can say get started now. That's totally fine as well. Title part three is optional. If I do use it, then I usually use it to describe the product a little bit more. So for example, blend of eight exotic nutrients, but this is optional, it doesn't always show up. But if we were to do it, I would say blend of eight exotic nutrients. That's what I would say. And we can scroll down. The path here you can add, which will come after this. So for example, we can put the name of our product, which was which is Exipure, and right there it shows up as Exipure. At text one, this is like a little description about the product, right? So you could say this, you could say supports healthy weight loss with a mix of eight nutrients, blah, 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 right? So that's what we could say here. We could say supports, or let's say, let's say, let's give the name of the product. Let's say Exipure supports healthy weight loss using a blend of eight exotic nutrients. And what else is there? And let's say, and plants. Now there's no space to say clinically proven, but we could use at text two for that, right? So for at text two, we could say backed by clinical research. And then what we could also say is, I believe there is a money back guarantee. All ClickBank products have a money back guarantee. So if we scroll down and click on maybe product support, nope. Maybe let's click on terms and see if there is any refund policy. Yeah, so generally they have like a 30 day or a 60 day refund policy. So here, maybe it's gonna say something here. What if Xperia doesn't work out for me? Yeah, 180 days here for this product, right? So you could say 180 day, 100% money back 
guarantee. So again, add text to is also optional, but if you are gonna write it and if it does show up, then it just adds some more space, right? So that's basically what our ad's gonna look like. So we could say save here. What you could also do is you could do a split test and you can test different ads one against another. So you could say copy ad here, you can click edit, and then you can change some things around here if you want. So for example, instead of learn how it can work for you, you could say get started right now. And we're gonna test these two variations and, we'll, and then we'll click save. And so if you click on any one of these, you're gonna be taken here and then you're gonna go here and if somebody buys, you're gonna make sales, okay? So this is how I personally make my passive income and this is one of the ways how you can make it work for you as well. So once we're done with that, we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna skip ad extensions. They're not necessary to get your campaign up and running. Again, if you wanna learn how to use it, take a look at my training courses. So we're gonna scroll down, we're just gonna skip it here. We're gonna say save and go to next step. And then this is where we're gonna review everything. So you wanna leave your bid strategy as maximize CPC. You wanna confirm your budget. This is where you set the bid, okay? So you do have to pay for every click. This isn't a free approach. And the reason for that is because it's instant. You're gonna get instant traffic, right? You don't have to wait for SEO, for Google to pick your website up and see how well it's doing. Everything here is instant. Uh, and so this is how much you're willing to pay. So let's say I wanna pay 25 or I'm willing to pay up to 25 cents per click Microsoft Ads is going to give you suggestions So it's going to say that you're estimated to get one monthly click and 34 monthly impressions Which means how many times your ads has been seen so keep in mind. These are just estimates Okay, also we didn't add that many keywords yet, right? We only added a few keywords Generally what you would do is spend some time doing the keyword research adding some good keywords So this was just an example case, uh, but just Keep in mind, right, this is an estimate. So what I like to do is actually start low, like with 25 cents, and then if I notice that I'm in, in, indeed not getting any clicks or not getting any impressions, that's when I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna increase the, the bid, right? So you can always do it later, okay? You can always change this. So I'm gonna start low here, we're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna click save. And that's pretty much it. You've successfully created your campaign. It's now gonna be under review. And here it is, under campaigns, exit pure YouTube. You can click on ads. And here is what your ads look like. And if you click on any one of, one of them, you're gonna go here, right? And I, I also wanted to show you how to make, how to get more relevant keywords, right? So what you do is when you go to keywords here, don't keep them as broad because then you're gonna get a lot of irrelevant search terms as well. Now broad is good if you have the budget to test and experiment, but what I suggest you do is instead you select all of them, you click edit, and you say change match types from broad to phrase and you hit save. And what that's gonna do is make your clicks much more relevant. So you're gonna be spending money on traffic that's more likely to convert, okay? And that's the idea. So that is pretty much it for this video, guys. That is how I made on average $443 a day over the past 15 days just with ClickBank. And this is completely passive income. Money keeps coming in even while I'm sleeping, all right? So again, if you enjoyed this video, guys, take a look at my training courses, evonmana.com slash old dash courses, where I teach you Microsoft ads, Google ads, Facebook ads, whatever it is you're interested in, scroll down, look at all the different training options I offer and see which one is right for you. In addition, I have over 400 free YouTube videos, guys, on my YouTube channel. So much free content, unbelievable content that can really help you step up your game and start making money online. Okay, so take a look at that at youtube.com slash Yvonne Mana. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.